Is it that time of the year, guys, where the parabolic phase is upon us, or is it already here? Hello, I well, hope you guys are having amazing XRPs around 54 cents now, definitely in the green. All these coins are, guys. Okay, in the past 24 hours, Bitcoin basically at 63k. What is this? Right? Again, I told you guys, before CPI, they dumped it, and after, they pumped it. Hilarious, isn't it? But, but my question is, is it that time where we go up and never stop is the real question. I guess we'll see. But Coinbase says it's that time. Right? And they talk about tax time. But again, is it that time? Hopefully, guys. Check this out. Now, guys, we're to the fun part of XRP in the XRP community. Now, this is quite interesting. It seems as Mr. Pool is very active. Um, recently, we got a lot of red, uh, red alert connections. And it's about to get spicy. Where Chris Larson donated more uh, money to that side of the team guys you guys ready to talk about all the all these things let's go so we got we got a timestamp right here um from mr pool 10 11 today's date on i mean they literally did flip the switch for bitcoin guys right it just went up non-stop um but not only to do with that guys this is why it's, it's so weird look at this connection okay check this out so, BitTrue, an exchange, tweets to sell. Good morning. Who else is on a journey to look for green candles? Right? And that's a laser or a quote-unquote candle. But another crypto exchange subliminally nods to the Royal Observatory. Right? Bitstamp did. BitTrue. And then we now see Crypto.com. Is it a bird? Is it a plane? No. It's the one crypto that's going up, up, and away. Right? They're all pointing towards the same exact thing, guys. This is basically sub uh, subliminal programming or conditioning, right? For us to prepare for green candles. But wait, maybe there's something deeper, a deeper meaning to all of this. Because it ties back to this spot, the Royal Observatory, guys, right? Now, when we talk about over there, that specific location, the first officially documented eruption of TC Borealis was recorded at the Royal Observatory in Greenwich, guys. Look at that. Look at that, right? You can't make that stuff up. It all begins where? In London. Hmm. Strange, isn't it? Right? There's one over there in Antarctica, and then here as well, right? Polonia Exchange, when moon. Guys, it's everywhere. What? Right? And, and, and by the way, this spot, the Royal Observatory, if I'm not mistaken, is in London as well, located over there. And they were the first people to document um, TC Borealis. Now, when we talk about that eruption, supposedly, I don't know, everyone just went silent on it. But maybe perhaps not because, look at this, from XRP. Did Mr. Pool actually tell us when TC Borealis goes boom, right? Supernova. Check this. This is actually an insane connection because this comes out to 1024. Okay, 1024. I think around that date, guys, Mr. Pool first came into the scene, right? Around that date, if I'm not mistaken, I think on that date was it one two three one twenty five, but it was it was on the state guys, uh, somewhere around that date. But supernova, expect the unexpected, right? Supernova guys, um, even even from uh, David Shore's ten twenty four, right? This is on ten twenty four explosion. Hmm. That is the case, guys. That's, if this happens, I'm done. Imagine it was if if, if uh, it happens on the exact date. I don't know. Let's keep an eye out because it can happen at any time. Warning: A star is about to explode. It will be visible to the naked eye. Right? It's imminent. A unique celestial event is going to take place, known as TC Borealis, guys. A nova that shines 2,600 um 2,600 light years from Earth is going to explode. Right, strange timing. So when the eruption takes place, we'll we go to the moon, and supposedly it can happen later this month. It's Halloween, but why does it feel like Christmas? Think about it. Mm, this is so strange, isn't it, guys? Right. The candles. The only. The only. Um. Cryptocurrency, crypto asset, digital asset that really connects to. All these, all these images that these uh, crypto exchanges are posting, guys. Right, one straight green candle up. Well, David Shores once upon a time posted this stock, and it had the same 
um, effect. Will it mean it's coming to XRP soon? Interesting, isn't it? Well, if you deny the Riddlers, Brad Garlinghouse doesn't. From Alex Cobb, wow, serious lack of uh, professionalism here from Brad. Might just end up selling all my XRP if something isn't done about it. Uh, done about it today. Right, so Brad Garlinghouse has um went a tick higher from 589 to 590, guys, for his following count. Right, this happened yesterday on 1010 smiley face, but then it went back to 589. He immediately had to um, peg it back to 589, guys. Right, it's a stable coin. So he's obviously he obviously knows about Barrel Bug One Two Three and he loves him, guys. Right, and if you see his following count staying the same as what BG One Two Three stated all these damn years, the number five eight nine. Crazy, isn't it? So so the Ripple team love uh, love riddles, guys, and they don't deny it. But you do, weird. Mister Pool is finally back, and now he posted this yesterday as well, for Mister Pool. This is the legit account, by the way. There's so many um, fake accounts out there, so watch out and beware. He posted uh, 1221. Okay, so 1221 can equal to easily, guys, 33, right? Um, right, a Mason number or what the Masons love, guys. Um, or could it be December 21st, right? Start, finish, or done. Hmm. He posted this as well, guys, right? So 3322. Two. And why is it so strange, guys, that when we talk about the number 33, Mr. Pool stated literally $33, the dollar symbol sign, right? Are we heading, is that going to be the first stop when we do explode? Oh, wait, that's strange, isn't it? We're starting to see all these exchanges talking about literally flipping the switch by the way that this this candle is flip the switch moment right is the flip of the switch moment because check this out right look at that and then mr pool comes with this tweet talks about 33 dollars mm, right winter solstice perhaps interesting very fascinating indeed guys it could come out to uh this person as well uh 1221 right here and he sings about um, how the media is this right here, guys, right? It's this, guys, right? And news. So that's what he was singing about over there. And how could you believe it? So don't believe them, which is fascinating to say the least. But once again, Mr. Pool posted so many 33s before. What's going on? Right? Literally, everything's 33, guys. Look at this. Interesting. I don't know about anybody else, but something's obviously brewing behind the scenes and it's about to erupt. Well, this thing definitely did and people are pissed in the XRP community. I'm not. I'm actually happy because it seems like we are moving forward, guys, from XRP drops. Ripple Chris Larson has given $1.9 million to Kamala Harris so far. CNBC titles Crypto Worms Up to Harris. Let's watch this video, guys, and I'm going to expose. There's a deeper agenda to this with the Riddlers right here. Sneak peek. P beware. Resume. An FEC filing just out this week shows that the Ripple Labs co-founder, Chris Larson, donated $1 million in the XRP token to the Future Forward Super PAC. Now, that committee is supporting the VP's run for the White House and began accepting donations in digital tokens back in September. All in, Larson has given a total of around $1.9 million to support Harris's campaign. And so that's something that doesn't make sense. SEC, right, Ripple is funny. The SEC chair, Gary Gensler, in courts, though Chris Larson on the same side of Ripple is, is helping that side, guys. It doesn't make sense. That's why there's a deeper agenda to all of this. Listen very carefully. Why would Chris Larson be donating to the side that is stifling innovation? As he says, as as he says right here in this video. Let's, I'm telling you, I'm exposing, I'm exposing him. I'm exposing the whole agenda in today's video. Please like it. Let's go. You don't talk about San Francisco as the crypto city. Yeah. Is that something you recognize? Well, that's that's really unfortunate because I think, unfortunately, uh, this administration uh, made a really bad call. In, at the city level or the federal level? the federal level. They pretty much killed San Francisco from being what it was, the blockchain capital of the world. We owned it uh, and we don't anymore because the Biden administration, for whatever reason, decided they want to push this industry offshore. And so it's London, Singapore, Dubai that, that really are the global capitals of blockchain. That's unfortunate. We Maybe our vacancy rate would be half of what it is here. Look at that, guys, right? But then he's donated to the same side. He, he donated literally to the same side that's doing that, right? That's moving people away from America to other 
parts of the world that helps or that um, loves cryptocurrencies. But wait a minute, the Riddlers foretold it in the beginning of time. The transfer of XRP to a, to this hand, that hand may connect to her, right? Because if you go down here, it's Kamala hand in, in her purple inauguration day suit, guys. Exactly, right? Hmm. Okay, so let's go up here. Check this out. Right. It's all planned, guys. Everything is. Literally everything is. Um. So it seems like to me, this is what it seems as. It seems like Chris Larson is has infiltrated that side, guys. Right. They, he, they, he has infiltrated that side. Look at that. It's her, right? Purple suit. Um. The transfer of XRP coins, guys. Interesting. Maybe something to do with escrow. But all I know is that's a very bullish sign. New Tether co-founder donated donated nearly half of a million dollars. Um, a super pack supporting Don Johnny Deaton in this battle to unseat uh, Senator Warren as well, right? So it seems like uh, crypto is playing a huge part in in this uh, year's elections, guys. Okay, check this out. Even Brad Garlinghouse is coming out not happy because a new loaf for a renegade agency many thought couldn't sink further. The SEC now believes it, it can operate above the law, ignoring a court's ruling that XRP is in the security. Team Ripple will be watching closely and weighing on our own options to hold SEC accountable because Bitnomial Exchange uh, has filed suit against SEC to prevent them from uh, overreaching their statutory authority and asserting joint jurisdiction over um, XRP's future contracts. Interesting. Wow. So the SEC is going to new lows. <laughs> Not only that, check this out. Despite Chairman's uh, Chairman Gensler's call to just come and, and register, uh, register, we were told we could only use our broker dealer to trade Bitcoin or Ethereum. Hence, giving Bitcoin and Ethereum the green, the, the free passes, right? The only SEC compliant crypto projects. How could it be? How could it be legal? Nobody knows. Um, all I know is three is a quest, which is XRP, though it's coming forth, guys. Closing in on a bill that can pass both chambers and reach the president's desk in December. Right. What a victory for the NACC to take the dollar forward into the age of the internet. So it is moving, guys, right? It's just a show at the end. Um, crypto will prevail. It's super simple, super easy. How do we know? Because the system needs to be updated. From Ripple has been named this year's. Uh, power of payments winner for best fiat and crypto payments guys. They're, they're just getting every award out there <laughs> I told you guys it has to be ripple and XRP because with a network spanning over 55 countries and facilitating billions in transactions Ripple has demonstrated significant market impact. I Hope to see banks using ripple. This was back in 2006 It'll take a while but I, I like to analogize to email for one you know, the internet took a long time to get down the fact that the money is what we say it is. Money is just a way of keeping score. There are more efficient ways and more humane ways, let's say, of keeping score. So it'll take a while, but I, I like to analogize to email. For one, you know, the internet took a long time to grow and people took a long time to catch on and start using email <laughs> instead of writing letters. You know, and there's still people that write letters, but, you know, over the last, you know, 20 years, a lot of people have adopted email as the, um, the primary means of written communication. We're kind of in the middle of the same thing with voice. I mean, I'm talking to you over Skype right now. But most people don't even know what Skype is, and uh, they continue to use a regular phone even though they pay $50 a month to do it. It's going to be slow, but it's, I think it's inevitable that newer, more efficient, more open systems will slowly take over. And in my lifetime, I hope to see, I hope to see banks using Ripple. People are very conservative. When I hope to see banks using Ripple, guys. It has to be the one. It's literally the chosen one. Ah! Victory of uh, video of R3 Cordis uh, Settler using XRP. Right, so it's it's, it's already been um at at the background, guys. Something has to be brewing. To say please, this is this is a financial vice. Chart is acting accordingly tonight. Double meaning. Ten eleven tonight. Watch out, and then go as well from this account, right? And then we have happy early anniversary at Big Short, guys. The Fauci for today's video, right? Weird times are in incoming, guys. Let us prepare for hectic times. Now, financial vice. I'm super excited though. But anyways, that's all for this See you.